Here's a few quick pointers on how to use the new Visual Editor in Open Labyrinth 3. Let's just take the center node that's been created first. We started with just a blank map. And I'm just going to show you a few simple things. First of all, we have a start node there, the root node, and I'm just going to add another one to it. Click on the little plus sign in the bar here, and it immediately creates a link and a node. And very simple to add new nodes that way. You can add a third one. You can create as many as you like in your chain. The simple thing is that you can also just move these around by dragging their, their title bar, which is on the left-hand side. It used to be on the top, now it's on the left-hand side. And you can also move your general workspace around just by dragging the, the mouse, clicking and dragging in a blank area. So how do we edit text in a node? Just simply click anywhere in the node and it brings up a side panel for you and you can uh, edit most things in here quite easily. Uh, so for instance, we can change the uh, uh, title here to something like entry node. We can edit, uh, add some text here and the text can be um, uh, rich text. So you can have things like um, underlining and um, uh, bold text, the usual sort of things, just like you can edit text anywhere else. And the important thing to remember here is that when you uh, when you finished adding, uh, adding your text for that node, remember to save the changes. There is not at the moment a, an alarm or a prompt to tell you to do that. So if I click on Save Changes, you'll see that the title and the text have changed here within the node. You can actually edit anything you want in the node. You can uh, do the title, the text. You can uh, change the supporting information that go to the info button. And you can also change a few things like uh, the links and styles, etc. We find in our work that we generally are using this mostly for rapid text entry. So if I leave that panel open, I can simply go on to the next node and make changes uh, quickly as I go. So this can be nice and fast to work with. And, uh, and again, the important thing is to remember to say things as you go. If you don't, say for instance, I make some changes in here, yada, 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 and then go back to this previous node, you'll see that the changes are not saved automatically. And this will be fixed shortly, but at the moment it's important to remember that. Uh, if you want to get rid of this panel on the right, you can close it or you can do the save and close. But when we're doing rapid text entry, it's actually quite useful just to leave that uh, node open as we go. So we've seen how to create nodes, we've seen how to edit the text within them. Um, you can also change what happens with the links. If you just click on a link itself, uh, you can change, oops, that's a little bit off the screen, just bring that down just a shade there. Oh, it's gonna be slightly up and over. So it's link manager on the top, and you can change the link to, it's at the moment, forward facing. You can change it to face backwards, uh, like that, or you can uh, make it uh, a double direction so it's, uh, it can be passed uh, forwards or backwards. Um, you can delete a node, and I'll come to that in a second. Um, you can also rename it. So say, for instance, you want the uh, prompt for wh where to go next, you can change it right here um, within the visual editor. Okay, so we've changed that. The um, forwards facing node again so it's not the, the there is no indication that that's changed but you will see that uh, elsewhere in the case so and that's how to create a link that's how to edit the link and rename it uh, so remember to save as you go the last thing is just to when you want to make a major save to all the changes made so far you click on the update button up here or the quick key for that is alt s as in good old Windows Alt S, the same sort of prompt, uh, not Command S for you Mac users. Alt S will save and upload the map. Um, there's a few other things that you can see on down the left hand side here. There's a way of adding adding a new node which is not attached uh, through linking. That just you can have unattached nodes uh, created that way. Um, you can select multiple nodes. I'll come to that in another uh, podcast. You can also insert predefined templates. Very, very useful feature, which we'll come to in another um, podcast. And finally, you can zoom in and zoom out. So zooming out can be quite useful when you have a, a very large map and you want to have a good sense of what's happening. Or, and you can 
also zoom back in again to uh, to uh, see your text in more detail. And that's it for now.